Hi, I'm Charlie Smith. And I'm Eddie Rocks. And you're watching Sweet Daddy's Monster Jam. This is a show where we focus on local bands and local musicians. That's right. We go out and about in the Savannah area and we find local musicians and local bands and we interview them to find out where they are playing gigs and what kind of music they play. Right on. This time we're actually going to Bluffton, South Carolina to interview Frequently Asked Questions, also known as FAQ. Charlie, how do we end up interviewing FAQ? Well, Eddie, our old bass player plays in the band and uh, he gave us a call and said he would love to be uh, the second band of, of our interviews and our, you know, this little segment we're doing. So uh, we agreed to um, travel over to Bluffton, South Carolina and take a look at them. And they are a really hot band, Eddie, I tell you what, man. They are. It was really, really hard music. Um, I tell you what, they are so tight. It's just three members and they are incredibly yeah. tight. But um, uh, let's hear a little bit more about the band, okay? Okay. FAQ has been together for approximately two years. They choose to play music that no one else is playing and music that they enjoy playing. This band, for the most part, is a guilty pleasure for all of the members. They also like to push themselves musically, and each member tries to do different things to expand their horizons. At the end of the day, they're having fun. Hi, this is Charlie Smith, and this is Sweet View. With me, my guest tonight is Mike Major, my old bass player, my old friend for many, many years. He's playing with a band here in Hilton Head, South Carolina called Fa Q. So, a couple questions for you, Mike. Would you uh, tell us, what, what's, you know, how'd you come up with the name of the band? Uh, well, it's uh, basically uh, we decided to do some things that other bands weren't doing. Uh, basically, uh, uh, stay away from the tried and true set list that you see in most bar bands and pretty much do what uh, we wanted to do. And uh, hopefully people like it. If they don't, fuck you. I hear you, man. That's good. What's that stand for? Uh, frequently Asked Questions is truly the name of the band, but oh, we right. kind of shorten it to fa. Q. I hear you. So, uh, if you make a second album, what will you call it? It would probably have to be Fa Q too. <laughs> I hear you, bro. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Why don't you, uh, if you don't mind, would you tell us the names of the uh, members in the band? Uh, me on bass, uh, uh, Chris Burnett on drums, uh, formerly of uh, the band Eye to Eye, and uh, Mike Schultz on guitar and vocals. I hear you. Cool, man. What about Chris? How long have you been playing with Chris? Uh, off and on for probably about... Uh, Eight to ten years. I, I played with him with Eye to Eye for a little bit, and uh, uh, you know, twice, and then uh, you know, with this band. Awesome, man. Uh, when can we see you next? Uh, June eighteenth at the Cigar Bar of Bluffton, also known as Peaceful Henry's. All right, that sounds awesome, man. As far as your uh, your sound goes, what kind of you know, what what are y'all looking for? What are your sounds? Well, we like to say we have uh, it covered from A to Z. We play everything from Avenged Sevenfold to Frank Zappa. With uh, In between that, a lot of modern hard rock. We play some Tool. We play some Rage Against the Machine. We play some older classic rock, especially uh, since we are a power trio. We play some Cream and some uh, Led Zeppelin and Rush, things of this nature. Uh, uh, some newer stuff, Bullet for My Valentine. You never know what you're going to hear. We play. We try to keep That's it real awesome, interesting, man. and uh, we'll throw some things out that, uh, uh, you know, for example, uh, Cheech and Chong's Earache My Eye, uh, uh, Edgar Winter Group's Frankenstein, some things like that that you don't normally hear, especially a three-piece doing. Man, I tell you, Frankenstein, now that you, now that you mentioned it, um, had a buddy of ours that we grew up with uh, that came and saw you play and said that y'all did a phenomenal rendition of uh, Frankenstein and you know you and I played together uh, for 15 20 years and uh, now being on the outside looking in I cannot wait to hear you know what y'all sound like tonight so this oh. is actually an honor and I, I'm just blessed to be here can't with you wait guys. to can't wait to rock it out for y'all so Mike you know um, you've been on the music scene for a long time um, kind of tell me some of the bands you played with and uh, you know what, what you plan to do now well, uh, back in the uh, late 80s and early 90s, I actually uh, uh, was in Shut Up and Drive while Beaver was on a hiatus there. And, uh, of course, after that, played with you and Toxic Oscar for many years and then uh, played in a uh, hair metal band uh, here out of Hilton Head called Sil Silicone Sister for about eight years. And, uh, yep, so, uh, and now I'm doing, doing something I truly enjoy and truly like, and uh, I think you'll know, stay with this and, you know, 
see how this goes. Anyway, Mike, we want to thank you very much for inviting us out here. And uh, like I said, I'm really looking forward to tonight. So thank you very much, my brother. Well, thank you very much. Good to see you as always. And we'll rock it out rock for you. Rock on. Rock and roll, baby. Hey, back on the Sweet View with my friend Chris Burnett, the drummer for... Fuck you. Yeah, fuck you too. Hey, check it out, man. Chris, it's a pleasure to see you. Oh, man, I've, I've heard so many remarkable things about you. I've never had the chance to hear you play in tonight. It's going to be a blessing. It's going to be an honor to sit here and watch you play tonight. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been playing? I've been playing since I was like about 13 years old. So, awesome. uh, yeah. Well, how about with Mike? How long have you been playing with Mike? Oh, wow. Longer than I'd like to remember. <laughs> I hear you, man. That's awesome. Who would you say that you have, you know, uh, droned your style off of? Um, you know, uh, like probably a little bit of Neil Peart, Morgan Rose um, would probably be the main influences for me. Um, you know, other drummers along the way, I wouldn't say that I've, you know, actually kind of named anybody, but, you know, pick up little things here and there. Uh, here lately, Luke Holland. So, oh, wow, man. Um, awesome. You know, uh, yeah, that, I'll definitely have to say that's what it is. Out of the songs that you're playing right now with the band, uh, what are some of your favorites? I would have to pick the Tool songs, Frankenstein, um, you know, by Edgar Winter there, uh, uh, Rush, uh, the Zappa tunes. Uh, everybody oh, yes. loves everybody loves Ze Zeppelin, so you know all the Zeppelin tunes too. So, uh, and then lately we added Cream, so the the little Cream medley uh, I, I definitely enjoy thoroughly. So, uh, who doesn't like Ginger Baker? Excellent, yeah. man. You're right. You're right. <laughs> well, listen, man. I wanted to thank you so much for inviting us out, and uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to it, man. So, thank you for your time, brother. Definitely, definitely. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Thank you so much. I'm gonna rock on, man. Rock on, brother. All right. Hey, this is Eddie Roskin. Uh, tonight I am interviewing Mike Schultz. He's the lead guitarist with Frequently Asked Questions, also known as FAQ. FAQ. <laughs> and uh, we are um, uh, so glad to be up here. Uh, I can't wait to hear you guys jam in just a minute. And uh, we're going to share some of that with the audience, too. We're going to film some of the, uh, the actual performance and your rehearsal and share that with uh, the group. So tell me about some of the songs that you're doing uh, tonight. Well, we kind of uh, try to stay a little bit out of the mainstream, unless we're doing like older stuff, Led Zeppelin and things, some Black Sabbath, but otherwise we try to do Rage Against the Machine, some uh, Avenged Sevenfold and things like that. Uh, we, we like to keep it heavy. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. So um, you're doing some Tool, too? We'll be doing some Tool as well, yes, awesome. I'm sure. We'll have a couple of Frank Zappas and things like that. So awesome. yeah, a lot we do is off the beaten path and um, stuff that not a lot of people are doing anymore. That's good. So um, who are you? some of your inspirations in the guitar world? And there's so many great guitarists out there. Uh, it, it started out with people like Jerry Garcia and Eric Clapton and, and Jimi Hendrix and, oh, yeah. and Van Halen and Randy Rhodes and Steve Morse and just goes on from there. Yeah, so I've got a, a kind of a strange question for you. Um, you know, with the passing of Prince just recently, I realized um, what an amazing guitarist he was. I didn't had no idea that he kind of played like. Um, oh yeah, sure. He was, uh, he was even a great with player. Eric Clapton, or was playing with some of the guys at the the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, doing some of uh, where Eric Clapton would be playing guitar, and uh, it was yeah. just phenomenal. And uh, Prince was an amazing talent. He amazing. sure was. He, he was, was great it's on be guitar. Missed. Yeah. Yep. So, um, uh, out of all the songs you're playing tonight, what would be your favorite song? Oh, that's a tough one to say. Um, it might be something from Elvis Costello. We do a Goon Squad from him, or um, Goon Squad. It could be some any of the any of the Zeppelin or any of the Avenged Sevenfold because I get to do some guitar work on that and you know keep my chops up and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're gonna, I bet you're gonna be screaming on those. Yeah. So um, when you play out, um, you play out here in, in uh, the Bluffton, uh, you know. South yeah. Carolina area, or do you all make it into Savannah? <clears throat> no, not this band hasn't gotten there yet. We've just really started playing out about uh, four months ago. And so we play one place right downtown here called uh, the Peaceful Henry's. It's actually a cigar bar. Okay, cool. And we pack them in there, and people, they enjoy what we do. I mean, it's a, we have a different kind of an audience for sure coming down and uh, to hear us play. It's not your run-of-the-mill you know, tourist stuff for yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. So do you get onto the island too or? No, we have not. We actually, we did early on, we had another member and then that member left. And so we just kind of decided to keep it with the three of us for right now because it keeps it simpler. And then uh, we'll see where this is going to take us. And uh, we'll probably be back on the island at some point in time. But when you're loud and you're heavy the way we are, it's not very easy to get into. <laughs> there aren't a lot of venues because oh, again, it's a tourist <laughs> venue in this area for yeah. the most part. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully maybe St. Patrick's Day and all, you can get something in Savannah. When, uh, when all those uh, millions of people are over there. I hope so. So it's 
called Henry's or what is it called again? Peaceful Henry's. Peaceful Henry's. So look mm -hmm. for frequently asked questions at Peaceful Henry's uh, very soon. And, and here are just the amazing rock and roll coming from these folks. And I want to thank you again for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right. All right. That was great reconnecting with Mike Majors. And I know after 13 years, I've been away in, in Hawaii and California and have not seen this man. And he is just a great friend. It was also good to meet his new friends, Chris Burnett and Michael Schultz. They are incredible musicians. I can't think of a better band, Charlie. I tell you, they're oh, so tight. Friggin' awesome, man. Awesome. The, yes. the sound they are getting out of just three people, it's so full, just an amazing sound. And we really can't wait to see them at that cigar bar where they're gonna be playing. Right and on. we're gonna go there with the camera, capture some of that, so you'll see them in a future show. Uh, but for now, this is Eddie Rocks. And Charlie Smith. Signing off. We'll see you next time when we kick, kick the, the bobo. Bo -bo. That's it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay.